fact is his views on foreign policy, I think, are stunningly dangerous for the survival of the United States. And I think it's a very simple question, which I would be glad at the next debate to ask Congressman Paul. If you have a terrorist who is prepared to put on a bomb and wear it as a vest and walk into a grocery store or a mall or a bus and blow themselves up as long as they can kill you, why would you think that if they could get access to a nuclear weapon, they wouldn't use it? Yeah, but that isn't the question, you schmuck. He always sounds as if like he's talking down to someone, like he's one of those annoying professors that he th thinks he knows everything when he's like a professor in Podunk Community For-Profit College USA, right? And he's like, why wouldn't you think that they would use a nuclear bomb if they had one? Of course, you schmuck, they would, but that's a terrorist. That's Al Qaeda. Al Qaeda doesn't have one. We're not talking about Al Qaeda. We're talking about Iran, which is not a, a, a terrorist that walks into a, a mall. It is a whole nation, okay? There's 70 million people in Iran. If they use nukes, we use nukes, and we wipe out 70 million people. They don't all want to die. It's not, you're doing apples and oranges. I mean, either you're dumb and can't get that through your head, or you want to purposely deceive people and be like, oh, I have a very simple question on Ron Paul. Why do you think the terrorists won't use, uh, you know, the nuclear bomb? Because we're not talking about them. In fact, Iran hates al-Qaeda. But that's too, way too complicated for the historian Newt Gingrich. So now, when Ron Paul does want to hit you, well, it's going to be pretty clear that he wants to hit you. This was not in a newsletter, it's not in a tweet. This comes in the form of a two by four. Here's what he had to say about Gingrich. Oh. You know, when Newt Gingrich was called to service in the 1960s, uh, during the Vietnam era, guess what he thought about danger? He, he chickened out on that, he got deferments, didn't even go. So right now, he sends these young kids over there to endure the danger. So Newt Gingrich has no business talking about danger because he, he is, he's putting other people in danger. Some people call that kind of a program a chicken hawk, and I think he falls into that category. See, now Ron Paul said that, and he meant it, right? That's the thing. It's not like Ron Paul doesn't mind hitting people. I mean, he did one of these moves on Gingrich there. You know, when you do that, and then the guy's like, wow, see, did he lose his balance and stuff? And he's like, geez, I'm wait up. i got to get my bearings. <laughs> because he's like, wait, did you? Now, let me understand the part about Gingrich. Did you go to Vietnam? Hey, son, did you go to Vietnam? He said, oh, you didn't go to Vietnam. Oh, but now you like to send other kids to fight your wars because you're a tough guy. Is that what you're saying? Bam! What? Oh, oh my God, what happened? <laughs> so now Nick, Newt Gingrich has some great quotes about why he didn't go to Vietnam, uh, which I love. I'm going to do uh, graphic 21 first. He says, uh, first of all, was he in favor of the Vietnam War? Absolutely. He says, Vietnam was the right war at the right time. Okay? So totally in favor of it, could go. So what happens next? Well, he says, given everything I believe in, a large part of me thinks uh, I should have gone over. Part of the question I had to ask myself was what difference I would have made. <laughs> That's fantastic. He's like, oh, no, I was totally in favor of the war, and I really thought other people should go. But what difference would I have made? I'm like, look, I'm kind of a fat ass. I could hardly see. I got flat feet. What am I going to do over there? Shoot Charlie? He's like, I'd get my ass shot in the first minute. I'd be useless anyway. Okay, no, no, lie. let me send other people to die for my wars. So is Newt Gingrich a chicken hawk? You betcha, in Sarah Palin's lingo. No question about it. So he can talk all the tough guy talk he wants about, oh, like, oh, Ron, oh, yo, oh, I'm going to be tough, oh, Ron. Vietnam, he's like, oh, Jesus, where's Charlie? He's hiding in the bush. Oh. Bleeding from the ear.